Hey guys, my name is Bart Kamski and I'm going to show you the asset version of my neat chart uh, data vis visualization tool and I'm doing this as a marketplace asset uh, mainly for uh, virtual television production. So, uh, I got a chart and you make it with a data table. So, here is that's how the data table looks like. You put your name here and your data here. And that's how it looks like. And I got a lot of settings. Distance, obviously. Uh, scale. Orientation, horizontal or vertical. But let's stick to the horizontal for now. There is also circle. So you can make it like this. And then you have radius. And distance works as an angle right now. But let's go back to the not circle one, to the straight one. Uh, what else? Uh, there is a height, obviously. And you can change the square type. You can pick up cylinder. And you can change its width and its depth. But it works better with the square one. So if you want to have a rectangle, you can do it easily here. So, colors. Uh, you can choose colors from data table. So here you can just put your color palette and then you can choose it from, from here. When the color palette has only five entries, but there is... Uh... Huh, yeah. I guess... Yeah, I guess the last one isn't isn't registered. Yeah, that's that's uh, I'm gonna fix it. But you can choose both uh, either a color palette or you can choose just the default colors, and it's just split the the color wheel and you can change saturation here. It splits the 360 color wheel to numbers of uh, of poles. So in this case, when the color distance is one, it means that it make a full circle. But you can change the color distance to, for example, like this. So it goes, if, you, if it's zero, every pole has the same color. But if you go towards one, the distance between colors go like this until it reach a full, full color. And you can also offset it. So now it starts, the first one is kind of red. Let's put it full saturation. But when you go to one, the last one, last one is red. So you basically offset the color. Okay, uh, about uh, values. So this here, you can change the size of it. You can change distance of it. There is also prefix suffix. It doesn't. Uh, it's not connected yet, but I'm gonna add. Uh, you can type something here like percentage on suffix or dollar sign on prefix. So you have actual values here. Uh, name tags. There are some. Obviously, there is a size of it, but there is a lot more settings like here. But in this case, we need to change distance like this okay it could be vertical in the middle it could be vertical on the side it could be on the floor parallel or it could be on the floor perpendicular this looks nice when it's circle like this what else do we have here yeah i guess that's all um yeah the the her the vertical one like this maybe you shouldn't cast a shadow i'm working on it it's work in progress if you are working with a virtual production with a television broadcast or internet broad broadcast with unreal engine Please let me know if you need such kind of tool. What do you need in it? I'm, I'm working on it. I want to make a pie chart as well. I want to make a, 
like a double pole chart that it, it goes both ways to, for example, to display um, like demographic divided by sex on the right side male, on the left side female. So it has two, uh, two poles. Yeah, and I'm working on it. Uh, please let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.